Alrighty. Just sort of do a little update video on the, the blue XR6 that we got from the auctions. Advertised it for sale yesterday and someone's coming to look at it. So hopefully it'll be uh, gone. It has come in handy having this car here because um, my missus uh, daily she hit a kangaroo in it, so it's at the panel beaters getting fixed through the insurance company, so this has come in real handy. We've been able to use it as a third car. So it's just had a wash and I've cleaned it out. It's ready for sale. So I'm gonna try not to use it, try and keep it clean. I didn't end up fixing the damage to the front. I did get parts for it, and I just sort of lost interest, to be honest. I just couldn't be bothered getting them painted and sorting it out, because I wanted to get stuff to my own car done and. Yeah, just lost interest in this, so I thought, well, clean it up and just advertise it as is and see how it goes. So hopefully, it will be gone. But um, yeah, it's come up really well from what it was when we got it. I'll just show you inside it. I don't know if you remember, but it was a bit of a mess when we got it. I've cleaned it right up. It's a really good car. The transmission slips a little bit into third gear from second. And that's another thing that I would have had to have fixed. I just couldn't be bothered. But um, yeah, besides that, it drives beautiful. Um, you can pick up transmissions fairly cheap for these, so not really a problem. But um, I've let the people who are coming to look at it know, and they um, so they know about it. I'm not trying to hide anything with it. I just I just can't be bothered doing it all myself anymore. Not on this car anyway. It's come up really good. There's the engine bay. Runs and drives beautiful. Well, once it's up to speed and just cruise it, it's beautiful. It just got that little slip from second to third. It's not major. Like you could drive this car around Australia, I think it will still make it. But um, yeah, it's just not ideal if you're trying to sell it. But like I said, I'm not trying to hide anything. So it is what it is. So that's where we're at with the Blue Falcon. Now I have had a look at another car, um, another aggressor. Which I've uh, organised to pick up in a couple of weeks um, with the dude. So hopefully that's uh, going to still be the case. I've just got to wait to hear back from him about that. So, so we might have another car to clean up and do the same thing again. Fingers crossed. But yeah, that's where the pickle salvage car ended up. Hopefully it goes. Okay, well, it's the afternoon now and the blue car has sold. First person who came and looked at it bought it and they seemed really happy with it which is good so just glad it's gone to be honest um, just to have it gone and now I could move on to something else. I'm looking at another car like I mentioned so we'll see if that one comes to fruition. A couple of weeks I've got to wait for that one though so we'll see what happens there. But I just wanted to, um, I've hit like a thousand subscribers on the channel so I didn't really set the channel up for subscribers or anything like that. I just did it because I was just filming as I went with my cars. And yeah, so I just wanted to say thanks for tuning in and watching the videos, I suppose, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, I've got a video coming up reviewing some uh, lights. So that's coming up. And I've got a um, another couple of videos in mind, which I'll be doing soon. So I'll have some more stuff coming out pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd touch on what I'm doing with my car. Um, now that the blue car is gone, I can finally start getting some parts for my turbo build, which I've been hanging to do for quite a while. I've gone out and found a, um, I sort of got an idea of what I want to do in mind. So I've gone and got an FG rocker cover. I found one, um, on the marketplace really cheap. I got it for 50 bucks. Well, I think it was $60 actually. A bottle of, um... Uh, I wanted a spice rum. I can't remember what it's Kraken. I got a bottle of Kraken. I think it was fifty nine dollars. So it cost me sixty bucks. It was bright pink when I got it. I'll throw in a picture here, so you can have a look at what it looked like when I got it. Um, but I um, paint stripped it all back, etch primed it because it's aluminium. Or well, paint stripped it, sanded it all back with some one eighty, scuffed the whole thing up. Um, etch primed it and then I've hit it with a primer filler gone around and filled some of it with some bog in some spots because there was a few manky bits and I've hit it with a uh, primer filler again so it's got quite a, a build of primer on it and just a guide coat so that's ready to um, to paint and put on the car 
when it comes time to do so. Also went out and got a uh, FG throttle body. I got that for 50 bucks, cheap again. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go FG style uh, rocker cover on the BF engine. Um, I've got the sump here off the old engine that I got rid of. I scrapped that. Uh, someone picked that up for free, but I kept the sump and I bought a tap. So I'm gonna tap the sump. Uh, I'll do a video on that. So I'm just gonna get all these things ready. I'm gonna get them all painted up and ready for when it comes time to do the turbo. Um, I've got all the parts ready to just bolt on. So, cause I'm gonna get new rocker cover seals and um, reseal the sump when I rip my engine out. I'm gonna pull my engine out to do it all. So it'll be a good chance to um, get all these replaced. So, and to have this ready will be pretty handy. Also got fuel pumps uh, set up out of uh, the wreck. So that's gonna be handy. I'll be able to get a uh, fuel pump and put it into this without having to piss fart around when it comes time to actually doing it. I can do it beforehand. And then when I actually need it in the car, I can just swap it out. So that's going to be cool. And I've got some parts there, which I'm going to paint. Timing cover, just got to clean that up, degrease it and paint it. I'll probably paint the sump as well. So now I'm just in the process of sourcing parts for it, for the build. Got to get injectors and things like that. So yeah, that's, that's coming up. Um, so I've got a few things planned. I also went and found a uh, front bumper for the car. So it's a BF bumper, just an XR6 one, XR6, XR8. So I need that painted as well as the side skirts and the rear bar and the wing. I've got a wing up there as well. So I want all them painted the same colour. I've got all the stuff to do it all myself. I've gone and got spray can. I've got some um, primer filler and sandpaper, all the stuff to do it. I just need to get it done. Um, but it's just finding the time with work and everything. I'm not in a rush to do that. Uh, like I said, I'm starting to accumulate bits for the turbo, so. I've also got a um, transmission cooler here, which I've bought, um, and I'll be doing very soon. I was gonna do that this weekend, but I'll probably do that next weekend. Um, I've got a full kit here, which I wanna chuck in, so. Been busy this weekend. But yeah, I mostly just wanted to say thanks for watching the videos and subscribing. Sounds stupid saying that, because like I said, the channel was never set up for you know, being a YouTuber, but people are obviously watching the videos and, um, yeah, hopefully you're getting something out of them. So, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. So yeah, just wanted to say thanks and yeah, hopefully we'll have some new videos coming pretty soon. Cheers.